One of the superpowers of Google Apps Scripts is the whole world of apps, add-ons, and tools that you can install to automate, support, and streamline your workflow to save time and money. This series is about exploring those Google Workspace add-ons so you can decide if they would make a smart addition to your organization. In this episode of GWOW, we look at Forms History by Martin Hawksey. If you are collaborating in Google Forms, this free add-on might be just for you. Forms History allows you to see your revision history and make backups and view copies of your form. Let's have a look at Forms History in the Google Workspace Marketplace. Now, if we scroll down to the overview, we can see that Forms History is useful if we would like to see if someone has modified a Google Form that you're collaborating on, or if you want to create and access backup copies of that form. If you look at the overview page here, you can see some very clear and visually appealing guides to understanding what Forms History does. The style suggests that there may have been a bit of guidance from another Google developer expert, Elise Keeler, on the layout of the overview images. If so, great work to both of you. We can see that there's a pop-up that will appear on our form and we can see who's made modifications to the form. And then there's an explanation that we can also create backups easily by clicking a button. That's excellent. We can also see there's a few limitations to the form and that's usually because of what Google's backend API allows you to do. So these limitations are um, small edits are consolidated with collaborators working simultaneously. So if there's frequent edits so within a 20 minute period, for example, then those edits might be consolidated into one edit that is stored. So you only can get a backup for that edit. And that's just something that Google has. It's nothing to do with the creation of this app. So it's good to know right on the first page. Let's check out permissions because it's always good to check what we're giving access to. First is we've got see, edit, create, delete all your Google Forms. Well, you'll need that because Forms History has the ability to save a version of your form. Uh, display run third-party web content. Well, that's basically your sidebar app that appears. And then see your primary Google account email. It's something more part of this uh, Google Workspace Marketplace. And same with the personal information. View manage forms uh, that this application has been installed on. Well, yes, we're working in Google Forms. You'll definitely need this permission as well. One of the most important things here, I think, to keep in mind is that Martin is one of the biggest names in Google Workspace, Google Apps Script community. And is also the mastermind behind the Apps Script aggregate tutorial site, Apps Script Pulse. And host of a long-standing Apps Script's Google Workspace series called Totally Unscripted, as well as being a Google-recognized developer expert and Google Innovator Champion. This is a fellow you can trust, which gives me great peace of mind when installing this app. So let's get started. Okay, you can already see I've installed Forms History because I wanted to make a few revisions on the site so you can see in the sidebar what's going on. Let's head over to my form. And to access Forms History, you can access it from this little add-ons bar here. And if you want to get Forms History for the first time, you can click on this more item here, select add-ons, and then search for Forms History and you'll see it appear here. I've already got a add-on on this sheet and we can see by this little puzzle piece here and I can select forms history and that'll come up with an open button here. You can see now on the bottom right hand side that we've got a list of all the history for this particular form starting back on June 24th. And if I open that up, you can see there was a revision 36 here. So if I go up and I can see uh, yesterday, there was another revision, and I can check by Mrs. Yagi-san out today, and I can see a little red dot next to that. That means that this revision has been saved. So I've saved that. So if I click on this link here, it'll open up to a previous revision. And you can see it's got copy of about you, and it's got the date and the revision number here. You can always change this, but this is a pretty good revision naming convention. So this is a previous revision that I have saved by hand. Now these revisions won't save manually. Unlike Google Sheets and Google Docs revision history, it's something you just have to remember to do. And as a developer, there's no real unintrusive way of handling this for you. Okay, so you can also see what revisions we've made today. And you can see this morning that I've made a revision at 8.41. Now, if I were to hop over to my alternate account, Mrs. Yagi-san Atade's account, and you can see with the purple border for the account. Now, if she makes a revision, let's say she changes the custom color to blue, for example. And we'll close that theme. 
and let's alt tab back to my account and you can see I've got a blue change here and we notice that it hasn't updated in the forms history yet but we can hit refresh and now we see Mrs. Yagi-san at today's edit revision. Let's say I want to make an edit to this form and I might just add some details to this question here. Are you awesome? And we will say, well, of course you are going to say yes. And we'll make this question required. Great. So let's refresh our forms history on the side here and see what happens. Now you can see I am at the top of the list. I made the most recent change here. Now I can make a copy of this change as a backup. So to do that, all you have to do is click this button and you'll get a dialog box appearing and the forms history will close. And you can keep this version. So as a standard, the version comes up as copy of about you and then the date of the copy and then the revision number. So this is pretty good information. I'll probably keep the things the way they are. And you can choose to put it in your drive or you can change the folder. So let's maybe put it in the same folder that we're working in. And we can double click, go into GWAL, GWAL episodes, and select. And now we can make a copy. We can choose to share it with the same people. Might be good for collaboration. Maybe we'll keep our own copy nice and private so no one can edit it and hit make a copy. Now you can see there's a little red button. Uh, now you can see there's a little red symbol at the top here and that's telling you that you've got a saved version somewhere here. And we can see that it's down in this version here. And there's a link to that version which we can click from here. And we can click the link to the same version from this icon as well. Now you don't need all your editors to have a copy of the forms history add-on, just you. Anyone who has a forms history will of course be able to keep a record of the history of the form. Okay, let's head over to Google Workspace Marketplace and give it a review. And we can see already there's been some great five-star reviews and it's well warranted. So let's add in our review. Google Workspace has a revision tool for Google Docs and Sheets, but nothing for Google Forms. This add-on makes it easy to keep track of revisions, make backups, and review copies of my form from the convenience of the sidebar. Great work, Martin. As you can see, Forms History is a great tool for keeping track of who's editing your form and making backups of that form as well. You can grab Martin's Forms History add-on from the Google Workspace Marketplace. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click that like button. And if you want to see more GWOW episodes like this, please hit that notification bell and subscribe. Until next time.